Hello YouTubers. Um, today we're going to make a 15 minute Amarillo Ale. I'm drinking the Timber Hog by Pickaroons in Fredericton, New Brunswick. Sure. Nice dark beer. Here's the uh, pitcher. It's got a wild boar on it. So, this one here, everyone's doing the worldwide uh, dedication uh, uh, brew for uh, Paul Wickstein. So, uh, I'm not going to be here tomorrow. And uh, so, I'm, I, I still wanted to, you know, to uh, do the same as you guys were doing. I always just feel like that I'm uh, adding a little bit to the community. So, uh, you know, because we could all stay united. So, um, in this uh, Amarillo Whale, it's uh, six pounds of light dry extract. Now, I never made one with just uh, dry extract, which is uh, kind of cool. Um, so, I got uh, three bags of this. And it's a kilogram, so actually it would be 6.6 uh, .6 pounds. I'm going to put a, a kilogram, or sorry, a pound, a crystal 60, or 450 grams. It was 480 or 90 or something like that. I just rounded it off to uh, 450. Uh, a quarter... Uh, a pound of carapils, which is a, approximately 225 grams. Um, then I'm going when that the water comes up, not to a boil, but it, when it when it when it comes up, I'm going to add my six pounds of uh, dry malt extract, and uh, uh, in the uh, ten minutes of the boil. Um, so it, it, you're, you're zero at 15 and then I'm going to wait uh, another five so that'll give me 10 minutes. I'm going to put two and a half ounces of Amarillo in it and another uh, five minutes I'm going to put uh, one ounce of uh, Amarillo and uh, at flame out I'm going to put uh, a half an ounce of uh, of Amarillo and actually it should be great one second folks yeah like you know what a pot will always boil <laughs> when you're away from it so mmm almost chocolatey I think it's some chocolate in there anyways I'm gonna get this all together uh, I'm going to uh, get the grains together, um, get the hops uh, together, and uh, then um, we'll, uh, we'll we'll start making this for a dedication beer for uh, Paul Wickstein. So, uh, okay, we'll see you in just a, a, a few minutes. Okay, there's my Crystal 60 and my Carapils. What I do is I'll just uh, put that in here. And um, I'll leave it in here for... Uh, I'll leave it in here till it uh, steeps. Anyway, it's probably about... I know they call this 15-minute ale. I got it off the uh, basic... Uh, uh, basic brewing but with everything it's going to take you a couple hours but uh, which is not a big deal but uh, anyways I'll let that steep for about half an hour to 40 minutes okay I'll get back to you oh uh, it's going to be at uh, between 145 and 150 the, the temperature approximately it's not as critical though Okay. Well, you're ready. Okay, 
So um, make sure it's not boiling. And we're going to add the DME in it. It's going to look like a cake. So what I'm going to do is add uh, this and uh, two more of these and I'll get back to you when I'm, uh, when I'm boiling. 17. Okay, well we're, I just wanted to show you a little tip. Instead of stirring this like, like, like this, what I do is I use one of these whisks. And if you use that, it uh, it helps. Anyways, like I said before, I'll uh, add that uh, DME and I'll get back to you. Okay, so we get a sapphire uh, zero five US zero five uh, yeast, and uh, we're going to hydrate this. So what we do is we get some uh, lukewarm water. Pour the yeast in. We'll, we'll give it a little bit of time. We'll stir it. It gets foamy. And uh, once we bring the temperature down for the primary, we'll dump it in. Um, the last 10 minutes, so you guys know, I'm going to put a yeast energizer into it. And uh, I know a lot of people just use this for all grain, but uh, I use the Irish moss. Too. I'm going to put an Irish moss when it comes to the last 15 minutes into, into the boil for a clarifying agent. So, I'll talk to you in a while. Okay, the first hop drop is two and a half ounces. Just put it in there like that. When you're starting to over boil, you just go like this. So, I'll just put this in here first of all. I'll turn this down a little bit. I'll whisk it. Not yet. So that's called a heat break. And you sure get that a lot with the DME, I find. Okay, so I'll leave this in for uh, 10 minutes and I'll get back to you. Okay, the last five minutes, throw in an ounce of, uh, of course, we all know that's all amarillo. And quite a bit of hops right there. And um, flame out, I'm going to throw a, a half an ounce in, which is a uh, 14 grams so it's coming good another uh, five minutes and uh, I'll start chilling it down okay okay so a half an ounce at flame out or just turn it off guys going to leave that a few minutes and uh, I'm going to put some cold water in the in the primary nice clean primary there and uh, then I'll put that uh, hot ward into her okay talk to you in a minute okay there's where we are I'll check the seal just take your hand like this Press down, and it should do this. Okay. 17. 